How can we solve division word problems with fractions? In today's lesson, you'll learn how to read division word problems and write the answer as a fraction. Let's look at this word problem. Miss Ruiz has a piece of string that is 125 inches long. For a science experiment, she divides the string equally among eight groups of students. How much string will each group get? When we're looking at a word problem like this, to solve, we need to ask ourselves some questions before we start. The first is, what is being divided and how much do we have? The next is, how many equal parts is it being divided into? As I'm looking at this word problem, I can see there are two things to keep in track of. There's a piece of string that's going to be 125 inches long, and there are eight groups of students. So we have two things, string and people. It doesn't make sense to divide people into equal parts, so string is probably going to be what we're going to divide. And now we have to do is figure out how much uh, we have. We know that we have 125 inches of string. Since we're working on solving word problems with fractions, what's probably going to happen is we need to figure out what our dividend is. Remember that the dividend is going to be the number that's going to be divided. Since string is the thing that's going to be divided, 125 is going to be our dividend. We're splitting the string among eight people, or eight groups of people, so our division problem is going to be 128 divided by, I'm sorry, 125 divided by 8. Or if we were to write that into a regular division problem. Okay. Using what we knew before, 125 is our dividend, it is also our numerator. And 8 is our divisor or our denominator. So let's go back and look at this as a long division problem, which is one way that we can solve uh, fractions using division. So we have 125 divided by 8. Just using long division, I see that 8 goes into 12 once. So I'll put an 8 down here. Subtract that difference. That becomes 12. That's 0. So 12 minus 8 is 4. 8 can't go into 4, so we'll bring down the 5. So 8 goes into 45 5 times because 8 times 5 is 40. So we'll write that down here. Find the difference. 5 minus 0 is 5. 4 minus 4 is 0. And our remainder is going to be 5. So if we look at this and look at this as a fraction, we had two possible answers. When we looked at 125 just being the numerator and 8 being the denominator, we were left with 125 eighths. That's an improper fraction, and we want to change this to a mixed number. So we were able to use long division to find that our answer is going to be 15 remainder 5. That's how far we've gotten so far. So let's keep working. We have 15, that's going to be our whole number. And we know that we take our remainder, 5, and put that over our original denominator of 8, which came from 125 over 8. So if we were to figure out how much string each group will get, we have 125 eighths or 15 and 5 eighths inches. So each string is, each group is going to get a string that is 15 and 5 eighths inches long. All right, now it's your turn. Here we have one problem for you to do on your own. At this point in time, feel free to pause the video, 
solve this problem. Don't forget to write this problem down in your math notes. Solve it, and then when you've figured it out, press play again to check your answer. All right, so we have this problem that says, Shauna has three adults and two children coming over for dessert. She is going to serve two small apple pies. If she plans to give each person, including herself, an equal amount of pie, how much pie will each person get? First thing we want to ask is what is being divided and how much do we have? We have people and we have pies. I'm probably going to guess that the pies are going to be what is divided and we have two of them. Now we're asked to find out how many equal parts is it being divided into? Or for this problem, we're trying to figure out how, many, how much pie will each person get? So if we have two small apple pies, how many people are there? That's going to tell us what we have to divide our pies by. So we see that there are three adults and two children, and there's Shauna. So Shauna's one, plus three, plus another two, is going to give us six. So there are th six people that we want to divide the pie into. Two is our dividend, and two is also our numerator. So we'll write two divided by six for six people. We'll see again, this is the numerator, and six is the denominator. So to write that as a fraction, we can write two sixths. The last thing you want to do is to make sure this is in its simplest form, whether that be as a mixed number or if we can reduce this any farther. To find simplest form, we check the factors of each number, the factors of two, are going to be 1 and 2. Factors of 6 are 1, 2, 3, and 6. To find the greatest common factor, we see all the factors that are in common. That's 2 and 1. And 2 is the biggest factor. So 2 is going to be our greatest common factor. So we'll divide the top by the greatest common factor, divide the bottom by the greatest common factor, and we'll see that 2 divided by 2 is 1, 6 divided by 2 is 3. So each person, if she has two small apple pies, each person will get one-third. Today, you've learned how to solve fractions to solve, how to use fractions to solve division word problems.